Hello, I'm Dr. Ma Siu Lee. I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at Arling Hospital. At the moment, my main focus of work is on laparoscopy. Recently, I managed to complete my 1,000 total laparoscopic hysterectomy. I thought today I will share with you my journey in laparoscopic work. I first started doing laparoscopy in the 1980s when I was attached to the government hospital. At that time, the setup for laparoscopy surgery was very basic. We had to look down the telescope at the eyepiece during the laparoscopy. So we could only do very simple cases like uh, for tubal ligation and for diagnostic purposes. Once you make a diagnosis, most of the time you have to proceed on to a laparotomy. By the 1990s, the camera system is well established and we could do more complicated cases. The camera system at that time was not so at once. The resolution was grainy and the pictures were not so clear. With the advanced technology, now we get HD and 4K resolution. In fact, 3D camera system is very well established as well. With advancement in technology, there's also a development of new equipments that we can use to do surgery with laparoscopy. This made laparoscopy surgery safer and less time consuming. I remember doing my first hysterectomy with the aid of a laparoscope in 1993, where I combined using a laparoscope and end the surgery with a vaginal hysterectomy. This procedure is called laparoscopy assisted vaginal hysterectomy. However, this procedure is not suitable for patients with larger uteruses. I performed the, my first total laparoscopic hysterectomy in 2016, whereby the whole surgery is performed laparoscopically. I started off choosing my cases which are simpler. As I gain more experience, I at once on to perform more complicated hysterectomy with a laparoscope. I, I can quite comfortably perform a laparoscopic hysterectomy for uteruses up to the size of five months pregnancy. That is the uterus that is enlarged until the level of the umbilicus. Laparoscopic surgery takes more time, but when you see the patient's recovery following laparoscopy, it's very rewarding. That's why I prefer to do use this method of surgery for treating my patients who need a hysterectomy. In fact, some of my patients recover so well that they can go home the following day. Despite the longer time it takes to do the surgery, it's all very worth it. We should avoid leaving a big scar on a woman's abdomen. If a surgery can be done laparoscopically, then it should be done laparoscopically. Do seek a second opinion if your doctor says that it cannot be done laparoscopically. In fact, more than 90% of my surgeries are done laparoscopically. That's all I want to share. For more information, please visit www.islandhospital.com. Thank you.